Hello everyone. I'm welcome to my new channel on um, YouTube, and this is my first video on this channel. As you can see, I just started this um channel like yesterday, and and I've been taking time getting used to it, and and I want to show you my um the kini bottom that I built. I built the the entire kini bottom. The only part that I did not build was probably the city, and the city don't appear that much in SpongeBob, so I decided not to do it. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to my 50th subscriber special! Yeah! That's right guys, I have um 50 guys. Hello, it's hello, it's me, Dave, and I'm standing right in front of the um Dave McLean Studios in my world. Yep, that's the Dave McLean Studios, and today me and our employees are celebrating 50 sub subs so guys um i guess there's only one thing to do is to say thank you thank you thank you everyone whoever for the support the loves the likes the candy the um comments the whales the um whatever and thank you mr j thank you mrs pale phil john dave john Oh, hedge got a sword. So yeah, that it just sword. Nothing too bad. But for for this fifty subscriber special, I'm going to be showing you a nice show, and I'm going to be displaying a nice show that I think you all will love. Yep, you all you will love it, and I hope it goes well. So guys, thank you so much for the support and. And I guess it's time to um do the show. So This is a spoiler alert. Hello everyone, it's Dave McLean, and welcome to an episode of Bugs and Weird Stuff. Yes, that's the title of this um, series. I know it's bad. I work on it. And guys, in this episode, we're going to be looking at Super Mario Odyssey, because there's actually a very weird thing you can do in this um, level, believe it or not. And it involves you skipping nearly the entire darker side of the moon. So guys, I'm going to show you how to do that. And guys, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. On um, Paulina's band, then you actually want to capture one of the frogs. You want to wait until the other frog lands on the ground. Then you want to jump. Then hopefully the other frog will jump. You want to hop on it. Then I quickly capture it and then you'll start swimming into the air the frog and then you completed the level In this guide, 
I will be showing you how to do Eric Andre clip in Scrumbug Trooper Square. This will work on the Xbox 360 version and as well as the Wii version as shown here. Head over to Kelp Far West, right after the jelly section, after the um, orange spinning thingies. We set up the robots to pretty much do this clip and if they will actually clip through, through the wall and out of bounds. Now let's go over this in more detail. First, we need to set up a hammer bot clip to clip Spongebob out of bounds. This trick can be done with or without the buff power up. Guide Spongebob left of the two big purple rocks. Notice I walk over the two pebbles left of the big rocks. As soon as you activate the cutscene, just spam the jump button and land just left of the first hammer bot. As soon as you land, walk straight ahead towards the left of the hammer bot behind him. As soon as you pass that bot, walk towards between the two black spots on the wall. Once you are touching the wall, keep running into it or stop and wait for the bot to attack you. Then he will push you through the wall. What you just saw was a slideshow showing clips and footage from the five years from the Dave McLean and Exotic Sponge era. The reason why I'm including them both together is because I created a different claim for Minecraft and after Minecraft I got into speedrunning and because I want speedrun content and Minecraft content to be separate, I separated the both channels so I have Exotic Sponge for speedrunning and Dave McLean for Minecraft. Anyway folks, I would want to thank you for great support throughout these five years, very appreciate it. Got a lot of support throughout these years and I just want to say thank you all and whoever leave the likes, comment or just even watch my video and and I really really appreciate all the support people. And the reason the main reason why I started my um Minecraft channel is be to just show off my bikini bottom. But after like after getting like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of views and even thousands in some cases I decided I had to expand Bikini Bottom and showcase more just to deliver to the uh, to my fans and to the audience. So I do this as a hobby, not full time, but you know, it's it, it been very fun and I've been trying to get um, videos out once I'm ready. I don't really have a schedule as you can see, so I try to do it um, piece by piece by piece. So sometimes I make it like three months break or sometimes make it only get like two day break, it just depends on what I have and timing. And that's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and now uh, let's end things off with one of my um, first non-Minecraft gameplay videos, which is this clip of Boom Beach. See you all next one, and thanks for this fabulous five-year anniversary special. Thank you all. Gracias. To episode one of my Boom Beach series. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be a series or not. I am thinking about making Boo Beach a series kind of like. And yeah. So, so I can tell you what I was. I got Delrean level 51 guy. So what are you going to do? Okay, yep, I'm going to start from destroying all rocket launchers. And notice how the top side of the base is much weaker than the front. So I go to put my troops up. This is small tree. I'm going to put my troops all the way up in the back of the base. And I'm going to get the uh, free gunboat energy. Basically, if you don't know gunboat energy, especially this thing. Actually, actually I'm not going to explain that. You guys can find out what gunboat energy is, or GP as some people call it. Anyway, you can see like, the attack going really good. I, I have destroyed most of the um, non defense buildings. And you can see the boom cannons. Um, the fitness place isn't going to do much at all. Like, as you can see, I put a cradle just to spread out the water because that's really the only threat to me for this attack. And also, the shock blaster is quite a bit of a headache, but it's not that big of a deal. You may notice I spear this clip a lot because I don't want this video to be too out of hand. Oh, I ended earlier. I thought I. Okay.